Hearts. The classic double hump heads. Everybody's heard of them. Still see people in comments and media saying, put some double hump heads on that fucking thing. If you really want to go fast. The thing about these old double hump heads are these motherfuckers now are, you know, 55, 60 years old. They done been around a minute. And technology has marched on. They've steadily been improving small player, improving all engines over the years. So shit has gotten better. But back in the day, if you were building a high rod small block Chevy, you know, them were the heads you wanted. You'd get you a pair of double hump heads. Just like them motherfuckers right there. They're not bad heads. As far as stock heads go, of course, the Vortec heads outflow them in stock form, but the old heads, there's more meat in there to grind out. So if you take a pair of Vortec heads and take a pair of camel humps or double humps or whatever the fuck you want to call them, and you port them out as far as you can port them, you're going to get a hell of a lot more out of the old thick-walled cast-iron heads than you are the Vortex. The Vortex heads are thinner, less material to grind away. But you can spend a shitload of money on some fucking double hump heads. That's the reality of it. This day and age, what machine work cost and how much shit these old heads you know if you want to make them tip top perfect fucking condition prepare to shell out some serious cash for an old 60 year old pair of fucking heads you're gonna need you know fucking seats valve guides you need to cut them for screw in studs and guide plates you need to drill out the push rod holes you need to mill them you need to cut the spring seats where you can get a bigger spring in them or that's not necessary if you run some beehives or something but if you want to put more than about a inch and a quarter diameter spring in it, you're going to have to cut them fuckers out. But you can take a pair of them and just get them rebuilt. The valve job, new set of valves and shit, and all the shit you need to get them in good, usable condition, you're going to have well over a grand in just the fucking machine work. And then depending on what parts you buy, you know, you can spend another five, six, seven hundred dollars pretty easy on fucking parts. And then if you want them ported, you know, prices range for that shit, but expect on, you know, five hundred to as much as you want to fucking spend. You know, you can spend ten thousand fucking dollars if pockets are that deep, but realistically, to take a pair of double hump heads and make them capable of, say, 500 horsepower, you're going to have a couple of grand in them motherfuckers easy. Whereas nowadays, you can just get your phone out and get on eBay and you know, shop through all the different fucking heads available and pick you out a pair that suits your needs. 
and buy a brand new pair of fucking heads for about what the machine work's gonna cost on these bastards. And they flow more, they're lighter, they're brand new heads. They're just better. But back in the day, you didn't have 500 fucking heads to pick between. If you wanted a badass small block Chevy, these were the heads, this was your choice. And how badass your engine was, was de determined by how much work you put into them fucking heads. How much porting and putting the big valves and killer valve jobs and all the tricks and shit to them. Now there's super stock 327s putting out 600 plus horsepower with these fucking heads and they're still 170 cc intake runners but yeah they're making over 600 horsepower but you look at a pair of them heads and you know you gotta have a stock size runner but how it gets there is entirely up to you and you see heads with half inch of fucking epoxy in the bottom of the runner and then poured it all the way to the fucking valve cover rail some Frankenstein shit and they're getting some big flow numbers out of that Frankenstein shit too just go look at some videos of some NHRA super stock 327 small block Chevys running you know, low tens in the quarter with a fucking a Carter AFB carburetor and cast iron double hump heads, you know. It'd take over 600 horse to make that car run that number. There's a couple of videos of them on dynos floating around out there, but the world of super stock and stock and shit, people are generally pretty tight-lipped about that shit because you don't want everybody else to know what you're doing or how you got your results. So it's hard to find much information on a real super stock engine. And they're spending shit loads of money on them fucking heads. So you can spend $10,000 on a pair of fucking double hump heads to make them super stock ready. So, it's, how much do you want to spend? But for the average guy just trying to build him a fucking hot rod that runs respectable numbers at the track and still can be cruised hell of a lot better off just buying a new set of aftermarket aluminum heads there's many good choices but so back in the day the old double humps was the only game in fucking town and how far you went with them was entirely up to you these particular units here are off of a 68 302 small block Chevy, 68 Camaro, they're 291 casting double humps. Allegedly, they're the best of them. And I might even end up, this is just a mocked up engine assembly. I like to try to keep parts together that go together. So I'll probably end up building this engine and fucking around with these heads and build an old school style hot rod engine with it. Something to play with. But they have potential, but like I said, you can dump a shitload of money in them old motherfuckers and a hell of a lot cheaper just to buy a brand new pair. So, take it for what it's worth. Them old 
double hump head, see? Still got a following. There's still people out there loving them. They're cool old school shit. Muscle car era shit. But these days, you're better off. There's people out there restoring old muscle cars that pay a lot of money for that numbers correct old shit. And you wouldn't even really want to get carried away porting a set. Better off just selling them to a restorer and buying aftermarket. But there's just a few things about the old double humps one ought to consider if you got an engine build in mind. Fuckers can get expensive. <laughs>